with the lovely Anna Marie today. Uh, right, lovely. let's carry so on. So what I will do now is just use the acrylic uh, paints yes. to do some painting. Oh, lovely. Very simple. So uh, now you might think that for crackle effect you only need to use, let's say, um, the same color. Yes. Okay, but you don't have to. Okay. Because you could just use as many colors as you want. Yes. Uh, especially for the base, let's say. Okay. Especially for the base, and then you will figure out what color to use for the top. So, okay. generally speaking, I most of the time use the yes. white for the top. Okay, got right. you. So um, I've done. We've, the we've had a question, Anne Marie. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Right. Who's this from, Chris? Chris, thanks for emailing in. Uh, Chris would like to know how long the Inca wax lasts when you put it, when it's in a bottle. Um, does that mean how long it lasts when it's in the in, in the pot? When it, when it's been mixed oh. in the spray, how long does it last? Well, the answer does that mean usage or how long it stays? Ah, okay, yeah, you know how we use warm water mm -hmm. to um, create the spray. I think this is what you mean, Chris, a couple of, couple of points. I, yeah. Will it go solid again when the water goes cold? Uh, no. Brilliant. Now, that's the, uh, that's the first answer because the wax has already been diluted. Great. Only in the first instance when you're actually diluting it yes. afterwards, you only have a mica powder. Fabulous. So it's no different yeah. to a... Uh, a spray pearlescent spray yep. being purchased as yep. a spray got you from a shop yes okay because all you always end up with is the mica powder at the bottom got you which you always in every case you need yes. to shake it yes okay yeah shake it well and then obviously can start i just show that one just so yep. chris you see they, there you go chris so that's what we mean the mica powder goes to the bottom and then you just give it a shake again yep. or a little bit of a twirl and you can see it just comes back to yeah. life. Um, if you're if you're thinking how how much how long will it last? Well, again, I think it depends how much you use it. Yes, the, the possible question also might be that maybe some uh, craft out there might worry about obviously perhaps going off or something yes, like that. Yes. Well, um, so a couple of answers, right? All my sprays, okay, that I use yep. and keep using and keep topping up. Yep. Okay, I've had it for at least. Seven years. No. At least seven years. Really? And never ever anything like that, remotely anything like weird wow. has happened. Wow. I do understand, however, that, you know, sometimes a water can be contaminated yeah. with some sort of bacteria, etc. So I can understand that. But we can't think about things like no. that, can we? No. No, no you're right. No. Seven okay. years. That's yes. amazing. And I keep topping up, topping up, and uh, nothing ever remotely like that happened. Yeah. So, so there you go. I hope uh, that yeah. answers your question. Thank you, Chris. Really. Thank you, Chris. Okay, but good question. Yes. Very good question. Right. So obviously I've got three colours and literally I'm just going to just go mad with the color because we can you will see that actually it doesn't matter so you've already got the crackle gel no on not there. yet not yet this so. is literally i'm starting a fresh okay. just literally color uh, going crazy and oh, bringing like colors this. together right I like this very much and literally just don't overthink it okay right so let me just add a little bit here Oh, I like this. I yeah. like this effect. Very yeah. good. Right. Isn't it pretty as it is? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, 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 then obviously you just need a frame frame it. Oh, lovely. Okay. But no, no, seriously. So this is as serious as it gets, really. Don't overthink it. Okay. Because right now I've got the background colour. Yes. I don't know what my crackle yeah. effect is going to look like. Okay. Not yet. No. Because nobody does. No. 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 And that's the fun part. Isn't it fun not to know like what the yes. future is going to yeah, bring? Yeah, we like that. And the future is a crackle effect, isn't it? Yes. So basically, okay, I'm just going to very quickly going to dry this and I'm going to apply the crackle medium onto it. Okay. And then I'm going to leave all of that to side to dry. We'll come back to it later on. Yes. But I think it's nice to... Um, then refresh our memory of what we've done. Yeah, these paints are beautiful as well. Um, they've got a really nice uh, texture to them. They're not too thick and globule to work with. No. And you can see there how well they mixed as well. That's why they're ideal for pouring techniques if you've got a pouring medium to add to them. And you can do some really, really cool effects with that. I love pouring Absolutely. mediums. Absolutely. Again, you know, it's just being creative, just 
with a, a lot of fun. Yes, enjoying <laughs> the process. That's the great. That's why I love mixed media, because where you start and where you end are two completely different that's places, it. and your journey can take you in all kinds of different directions. That's it, and that's very, very, very true. Right, so I think this is dry, as dry as I can. Yep, a little bit, bit here. And we need to make sure that the paint's dry before we put the crackle. No, we don't actually. No? We don't, but. Um, you know, I thought like uh, I'd do the job properly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it has happened to me that basically I didn't wait until yeah. the paint was completely dry and there was no disaster. Okay. Okay, so now obviously the um, mix, um, crackle. the crackle medium. Yes. yes, we've got all these names that I have to focus. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing very well. <laughs> Thank you. Normally when you craft for yourself, you don't even have to think about no, what you're taking. You just, okay, that's the one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and sometimes even if it's not the one, just still go with it anyway, <laughs> because it will produce an amazing effect. Oh no, it is fun, seriously. The fact that you can never, well, you can never end up with two of the same projects is yeah. exceptional. Um, now as you're putting the, uh, the, the crackle paste on, you know, we're just brushing yep. it on like paint. So yes. it doesn't need to go in the same direction. Um, Yes. Um, oh. um, yes. Yes. Now, listen, uh, I just want to give you a reminder um, of how you can pay here on Craft Extra. Oh, I forgot that was me, wasn't it? That was me <laughs> telling you. Um, there you go. I don't need Sorry. to tell you live. We could just play that all the time. So, yes, PayPal is the way to pay. Yes, Janice, you had a question, I think. Yes. Um, so, Painting in the same, di same direction yes. or... Right, okay. Um, you will have some opinions, obviously, yes. in the crafting world about yes. painting two directions. Yes. Okay, I've tried them both. Yes. Okay, and basically I You've go tried one this direction. Way and that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What, what that means is like yeah. you can go one direction yes. and for, for more regimented, more yes. perfect crackle yes. look, you go this direction. Yes. Okay, and you just change the strokes. Okay. Now, that's the funny thing because I think in the in the crafting world we all have our preferences and yeah. for me crackle effect it's not supposed to be regimented okay no it's not is okay it? so um yeah literally i just go one direction and i'm happy with that uh that's it so okay. there you go can't wait to see this when it dries and i right. guess when it starts to dry you'll start to see the crackle happen that's it but you can hopefully see janice that uh, you can see some areas, and I've done this on purpose, so you can yep. see it. Some areas are very touched, d lightly touched. Can you see this one? Yeah. This spot here actually doesn't have any medium, and I know that because it's matte. Got okay, you. it's matte. This is very glossy because that's yep. a thicker layer, that's a thicker layer, that's yep. a lighter layer, and so on. So this is it, really. We are, well, it's a happy mixed media. Yeah. We just don't know what we're going to end up with. Yeah, love that. Right. So you don't have to cover the whole project. No. Brilliant. No. no. Right, so now you see I'm taking this sheet. Yes. And I'm removing it. There you go. If you want to get hold <laughs> right. of 150, uh, oh, 100, sorry, 100 sheets that you can be working on, just as we're working on here, you know, you can do your project, you can pick it up perfectly, you can take it, you know, do be careful, place it somewhere for it to dry, or even use what's left of your project and use them as backgrounds as well. These are your working matte papers. You get 100, the A3 in size, 005187. If you want to use them for any kind of projects as well uh, why not it doesn't always have to be for your mat zero zero five one eight seven is you them, have you cleaned the shower out this morning <laughs> you think you what is she doing <laughs> right. well i think i think hopefully um yeah many customers out there will obviously recognize i'm pretty sure because this is the natural fiber that yes. we bring to you yes okay almost every show wow now so basically i've been using this for literally many many years now myself yes. and okay generally speaking um it comes uh, in one color okay but mm. how can i change the color of my very 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 that's it Ink very, that's gold it. spray there. and that's it so i wanted to show you that again we're going back to the same principle of yep. if i am using magenta color ink gold yes. wax yes then i want everything magenta yes okay 
and if I want a magenta colour yes. natural fibre, I will have magenta yeah. colour. <laughs> you and will have it. <laughs> with the ink and gold waxes, yes. we can. Makes and sense. That, that is the beauty about it. Yeah. So basically, I'm just going to... Um, I tell you what would be nice as well, the effect that it leaves on the paper. Absolutely. Yeah. So we can use a little bit of... Because it's almost like a stencil wait. effect then. That's it. Okay. And of course, you can add, you can obviously add, you know, when you're doing this, almost don't waste your... Um, I mean, we enjoy every moment we're doing, but if you know that the colour that you're going to be using yes. serves a purpose for a flower, let's say. Yes. Okay, or anything like that. And talking about flowers, actually, I wanted to show you something because, um, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, but I can't find it, but I will find it. <laughs> <laughs> this and is why it's called mixed media because you just don't know what you're going to bring out next. And we will come back to it. And we will come back to it. But literally, I mean, we've got something like lace, okay. right? We've got uh, flowers, uh, basically, which yes. are you, you know, the paper flowers. Yes. That are, you know, it's, they always look more natural when mm. you actually spray them rather than ink them. And when I'm talking about things like magnolias or yes. roses and things like that, very sort of delicate uh, I'm items. just thinking if you guys have got any of the forever flowers at home that you've made, you yes. could use some of these sprays to create amazing effects. Absolutely. So there you go. Anyway, so this is just a little touch um, of the uh, different items that we can do okay. in order to... Uh, you know, get the uh, extra bits out yes. of our sprays. And okay, I'm just gonna bring it here. And uh, well, right, let's say, and I'm gonna use blue. So okay. this is cobalt blue. Um, the ink color is also beautiful. Yes, now we've got 26 different colors in the Inca wax available for you. Head to the website to see all of the ones we've got. 629, this one is the cold, is it, I can never, Cobalt. I always go cold bolt, but it's not. It's <laughs> cobalt. Yeah. Cobalt blue. Yeah. Okay, I have to just unblock my bottle. Okay. And then if that happens to you on yes. air, because okay, it's just mica, isn't it? We can just change colour, can't we? Yes. Um, basically, no. What happened? Basically, and this is an important thing to do. If you don't shake it well, okay, yeah. you've got to shake it well before you use it because otherwise the mica can get yes. into a little nozzle there. But if if something like this happens to you all you have to do is just yeah. simply change the color yeah <laughs> again oh, that's why it's mixed media yes but you know that's the fun part because again um we're gonna have slightly <laughs> okay there you go now so now i'm just gonna pick this up Oh, yeah. I Can you see like it? that. Right, I'm going to slightly remove this off my working mat and then flip over Yes, my natural fibre because <laughs> I've got one bit. And there you go. And then we just carry on changing the colour. That's it. I mean, see, what I tend to do is like literally... Um, I wonder if this would work on wool. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, if you've definitely. got some wool at home, you want to it's change colour. It's watercolour, but you know you can actually bring other things uh, to it. And you know, if you're working with particular colour, yes, just put it to the side because you will use it. My snowflake uh, is stuck. Yeah. And um, how how do we need to let this dry? I was going to say, how moist is it? Okay. Well, you n you can actually use a heat gun, yes. and you're not going to burn it, and okay. you're not going to burn it because it's not plastic. Yes. It's a natural, natural yeah. product. But like with your lace, and I'm going to show you that in a moment. Yeah. But with your lace, uh, for example, uh, at the back, obviously yep. when it's still, obviously still ivory, you can you can add more spray to it. But you obviously you can pick up yes the colours that you already have here, and just. Oh, I love mixed media work. Yeah, I mean it is amazing T yeah. turning something into something else. This is the f this is the um, part that I love the most. I remember you can use this, I guess, as a paint, but it starts its life. I'm just going to grab on here um, as your Inca wax. There you go. Yes. I'm going to post some pictures of um, some projects that I've used them for, and I, d I, I didn't know you could turn them into uh, a spray. So I'm definitely going to do that when I get them home. Um, you're going to absolutely love these. You really are. Um, and we've got 26 different colours to choose from. So uh, this colour that I've actually used, I've just realised because obviously I've got so many different surfaces to work on for you. I've just realised. And look, in case you're thinking, oh goodness, I've made so much mess. Yep. 
turn it over. <laughs> the mess is gone. I love it. <laughs> to be honest, magic. <laughs> it is. I hope the kitchen worked the same yeah. way. And every, every room oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Just every every okay. mess in your house just turn over and it disappears. Exactly, exactly. But I'm going to show you. Uh, I had uh, several requests to show you, obviously, how to work on the polystyrene. So I'm going to show you polystyrene as well. But the natural fibre that you're seeing inside is the same colour yes. as I've just uh, created. Okay, and we can come back to that. But just to sh say, so you can still is wet. Yes. Okay. You could um, add a little blast, and you can see you don't have yeah. to be afraid yeah. because it's a dry product. Yes. And what's nice? Uh, do we have any of the? Um, no, we don't. The fibres. Which it yeah. might be on the website. You can it find is on the website. Yes, yeah. it Have is. a look on the website because for tomorrow's show. Yeah, it means that you can change it to yeah. any colour. Absolutely. So I have that as well, and then I'm going to show you uh, something else. Right. Uh, simply because, um, literally, we end up with so many of these things, and I'm talking about plastic. Yes. Right. And literally, if you are into mixed media, yeah. you can actually use this to create something amazing. Yes. Okay, so you can see this is a this is a um, obviously seal part. Yes. So I'm just going to remove that. Okay. You can create this as big as you like or as small as you like, but basically, ultimately, what you need is the products that we're working with yes. right now. Okay. I remember all the products we've got on the show of Viva Decor as well, so yep. they all work perfectly together, and you know they are top top quality and when you're starting your adventure or your journey into mixed media or you just want to expand your crafting stash what a fabulous company to go with as well remember this is a takeover we've got 16 minutes left of this live hour we're going to take a break from live hours for an hour and then we'll be back at one o'clock and two o'clock with more demonstrations lovely. as well with Anna Marie lovely right so I've got this foil and obviously normally just gets in the bin of course but I need a heat gun Okay. okay. Do we have to be careful though, because it's plastic? Um, right. Okay. Yes, I should say yes. We have yes. to be careful yes. because obviously it will create some fumes. Yes. But to be honest, um, n yes, if you're careful, obviously yes. open the window. Yes. Please do. Yep. Put the uh, mask on yes. and that kind of thing. But. Um, Obviously, plastic will vary, right? The yes. Different plastics, obviously, yeah. different components that are made of. This one doesn't actually create any fumes. Okay. And these are the ones that you uh, you get all your crafty goodies uh, yes. uh, in. Yeah. Um, do be careful, though, of course. Yes. Just that, you know, just a... a oh! Can I've never done this before. Isn't that amazing? Wow! Right. So I am now literally turning something that is unfri environmentally unfriendly yes. into something that will hopefully you will agree with me look amazing and you're controlling that by using a heat gun right so now obviously it's a little bit warm so we can just apply it okay and I can actually create a bow if I wanted to okay I've never seen anything like it no this is brilliant <laughs> thank you I like well this is again this is down to me experimenting because I love it love yes. it love it love it and basically I also uh, will when I show with the polystyrene with other mediums you will see what I mean okay so you can um, you can obviously you can shape it by using the heat gun how yes. you want it to shape yeah and if you decide let's say that this is oh gosh this is too big yep. okay just pull certain parts apart uh, certain pieces apart yes they don't have to be in one piece no okay you can chop them down but basically what i wanted to show you and actually i'm glad i did that because i'm going to use two separate products for finishing off okay finishing off okay now obviously we need something that is uh, will stick on yep. to something non porous right right okay so we've got a variety of products on uh, Viva the car yes right and one of them again oh I'm gonna use the crystal gel as well okay okay we'll bring the details up for yep. the crystal gel So this is the crystal gel and then another one I'm going to use the uh, uh, structure paste as well but we could use a modeling paste as well okay. right okay so different things right okay so don't even plan. I don't even know what I want this to be yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever it will it. be, it will be. It could be a bow. It could be a butterfly. Well, that's it. And it that's could just it. be. It could just be. And when we're making all these mixed media, um, really, you know, like p uh, projects like on the wall and stuff yeah. like that, this is, uh, well, it's not rock hard like wood, mm. but it's not also flimsy. Right? Got you. Okay. Like it was when we when I uh, before I started heating it okay so um, 
let me just wipe this and I go for crystal gel. So this is again, you, you're going to see a nice difference in between um, the finishing really, because yep. like I mentioned, okay, it's transparent and it's more opaque as opposed to solid white, right? Yep. Okay. And this is what we have, right? Okay. Now let me just see this is what's lovely about using all the different pastes and everything we've got you, you, you sometimes really don't know what you're doing and that's the beauty of it because at the end of it you've got something that you've created there was no plan ever um, no road map as it were and then at the end you look down you go wow I did that just through your own I think it's just through your own creativity absolutely it, and isn't that amazing yeah I love it <laughs> yeah so there you go. So I, li I like burning. I shouldn't be saying it really, but ever, ever <laughs> since I was a child, I used to, I used to burn. Uh, well, not, no, no, no. I don't mean dangerously. No, I don't, mean don't dangerously. burn anything dangerously. You know. No, no. Obviously, I'm not what encouraging. Is it a pyrotechnic. No, a, py a py pyromaniac. Yes, yeah. No. Not one of those. No, I'm not. I'm not. No. I'm not. I'm, I'm a safe, responsible person. Uh, yes. You know. Uh, I, I hope anyway. <laughs> but you know. Um, but it's nice to basically, yes. I mean, that's how we experiment, yes. right? by burning. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's how we experiment. So but anyway, I'm using the petrol colour here, yes. okay, and I'm also going to use the petrol colour on the transparent. Okay. Okay, uh, and basically you will see slightly different uh, finish as well, because yep. this one is more like a watery and this one is more, well, solid, because the yes. white is a base colour. Yep. And that's how you have to think about, uh, obviously, where we're going with this. I'm actually going to add a little bit of black, uh, okay. just, uh, well, I say black, but it's a hematite yes. and white here, and they're going to like slightly blend together yep. now one other thing I could also do because I can and because the product is still um, uh, wet yes okay I can sprinkle uh, the magic oh. onto it okay? now these these are gorgeous right we'll, um, bring the details on this is for your crushed ice here we go yeah I'm not going to uh, cover the whole bow no <laughs> <laughs> we have decided what it is okay and I'm just going to add it to the uh, end bits, okay? Yeah. There you go. Right. Perfect. Right. Okay, so I've got that here. Wow, look right. at the sparkle on that. Yeah. And then I'm just going to add the same. I'm just going to so rock this, it so you can see. hopefully, that. will show you that obviously. Wow, look at that. Isn't this amazing? Yeah, it really is. Look at that. That's a nice little bow, right? Yeah, and then obviously you can see one that I've done earlier with uh, champagne and wow, um, champ and it's completely dry and it's you like can a, touch it. It's almost like um like a an old rock or fossil or crystal, isn't That's it? That's it. Yeah, and imagine doing it like literally as a base wow. of your images and stuff like that. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be. See what to me, Janice. To me, what yeah. this is to me. And let me just put a clean piece of um, yep. paper. Yeah. So Look at this. These are, these are your paper mats. Um, <laughs> you get a hundred, and it's brilliant because you can do your projects. You can keep the paper later and use them in, in other projects. But look at this. So if we never did all that dirty work, no, and that's the secret. But if I now, okay, let's let's say I wanted to create a topper, right? Sorry, um, just need to find my bits. Okay. So I also have a show tomorrow. So I had two shows to get ready for. Yes, yes. So show sorry tomorrow on create and craft. So let me just, I've got something prepared and let's say this is my base card here. Okay. So this is my mount. Yes. Okay. This is my topper mount, whatever you do. And that's why I created literally from the plastic. Okay. From the plastic. Yes. And Inca gold waxes, spray and crushed ice. Okay. okay. And let's say I'm now going to add my flower. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Right. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Oh, see, okay. that looks brilliant. Okay. So hopefully. Very nice. Yeah, can you see it? Yep. So imagine, I'm going to put it down so you probably can see it better. Okay. Right, so imagine just that simple as yes. that. You yeah. Something and... Uh, Doesn't it look effective? It really, really does. Yeah. I mean, that could be... That could be the top of a box, for example. Yeah. It could be a plaque for the wall. Absolutely. I'm even thinking, you know, if you've got you a know. fancy hat, you yeah. could adhere those two together. It could be like a brooch. Yeah. Yeah. But this is it, literally. I mean, um, that is why this is fun to me. 
Yes, yeah, it is. It, you know, whatever you're making, you can change direction right. at any point. Yes, absolutely. Right, we've got five minutes left oh. of this live hour, but we will be back live at one all the way through till three o'clock. So Lovely. five minutes left. So Yes, five minutes left. So yes. how about I will start, okay, uh, prepping my glass. Yes, okay. okay. And basically, um, I will use the glass gel effect okay. because... Yeah, like these. And they're transparent. Okay, so what colour shall I do? Uh, choosing colours for me sometimes is a tricky sort of uh, business. I'm the same. I never know what colours to use. I sometimes have to just close my eyes and pick a few out and go I'm with gonna it. Use, yeah, I'm going to use the opaque blue. Okay. Now, the sponges obviously come in a set for you. Yes. Uh, we've got two sets available to you. We've got the Mystic Morning and the Soft, is it Soft Blue? Soft, uh, soft Blossom. Bloom, yeah, Soft Bloom. And you get your ceramic effect and you also get your colours as well corresponding to which one you want to choose from. And you get full sponges as well. This is absolutely terrific and something that would be a great little gift for you to make and create. You know, even go to the charity shops and get some... Um, old glasses and just recycle them. 102707 is your item number. You can pay via PayPal at the moment on our website. And if you're in the club, you get 10% off. And that still stands when you pay via PayPal. So on this project, obviously what I, I am aiming for, okay, is to show you two colors, uh, but one glass gel effect color, and then the ceramic effect that yes. the set comes with. Okay, because you do need to see obviously how both of them work. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, that is why you're getting four sponges because you've got three glass gel effects, colours. Yes. Wands, if you like, and one ceramic effect. Okay. And you know, the uh, the stippling is basically what's giving you that sort of super nice, super frosty uh, effect. Yes. Now, obviously, it's only applying the uh, uh, the glass gel effect onto my working mat, but. Uh, you can actually apply it onto this sponge directly. The only thing you have to do once you do that is just make sure you push it in because yeah. you're going to have a thicker blobs and that's it. Could you use that to actually draw on yes, the you glass? Yes, you can. And yes, you can. And how about I will finish that, this because I'm stippling, just giving myself the nice, gel delicate, frosty look yes. at the bottom. And when we revisit this project um, in an hour, yeah. I will uh, just draw something. Oh. Um, it's nice actually if, if you've got some little glasses like you know drink pop out of water and yeah. you can put like a little LED light in there once you add this ceramic effect it looks really really effective. Absolutely I mean the thing is that you can apply um, gosh I mean again this is we're going into kind, a kind of slightly different um, mixed media project because this is like see-through yes yes <laughs> now I divide mixed media into solid and see-through do you yeah <laughs> because what I can see uh, and this is your um, see-through kind of project yes. where you can put your those lights yes, in which will, yeah and cr create something and different. you can change you can have different colors so you can have like an ombre effect as well you know you oh, can have absolutely. blue at the bottom and then you could you know add your other colors in there as well remember it comes in two kits for you 17 99 but you get 10 percent off if you're in the club so what's nice about it is that it is a kit so you yes. don't need to think about getting Absolutely. sponges they're included you don't have to think about getting your ceramic effect that's included you don't have to think about getting the different colors they're included so you've got that full kit to start working with so it's an ideal christmas present for somebody mm. Absolutely. I mean, I like everything that comes in one set, really. Everything I need to uh, start crafting. So what I am going to do now, just the simple dots. Uh, so we actually going to leave this. Oh, self-leveling. Yeah, self-leveling. And obviously, like I said, they don't actually drip. So now, are you going to do all the way around? No, I mean, to be honest. Would you leave it on its side to dry? Yes, oh, we've I only got 45 seconds left. Oh, there you go. Um, so that's a perfect. perfect timing because yes. obviously I can leave that here. Yes. Obviously, wow. I just add a bit of sponge so it doesn't roll. Uh, right, everyone, we're <laughs> going to be back.